<laughs> okay guys, welcome to another Four Realms of Chaos Battle Report. And this time we have our Chaos Demons and Tyranids tournament list of doubles, 2,000 points against a Necron and Chaos uh, ally. If you saw our last game, the only difference is that... My great unclean one great unclean took one. a exalted gift. Our list is the same thing. You can just look it up on our last video. Annotation is here. First, we have a chaos sorcerer. So with it's mastery level three. It has um, a mark of zinch and uh, I don't know something aura. <laughs> and a four staff. And a four staff. So so he's like a three up invulnerable. Yeah. So he's three up invulnerable. Um, he got he, iron arm. He also has iron arm, uh, hallucination, and. Uh, telepathy, Primus, something shriek. <laughs> yeah. And we got five. Uh, so we have five screens. thousand suns. Oh. And Aspiring Sorcerer. The Aspiring Sorcerer got Boon of Mutation uh, for its spell. Um, you have ten Possessed. The Possessed Champion got um, Feel No Pain and Plus One Strength. And you have a Molar Fiend. In reserve over on that table. There are three Night Scythes bam, with five bam. warriors, yeah. and a Doom Scythe, and a Heldrake. And Heldrake. Flame. Oh god. You also have um, the Overlord with Mind Shackle and Face Shifter. And it's a right there. Hyper Face Blade. Also, leave in the comments if you know that with allies, if you have none of the allies on the table, do they die? This game is Crusade. And it is Vanguard deployment, I think. I don't know. So we're lined up in a cool formation like that. We just went, hugged the line right there. And there's a conga line of Tyranids and Demons. I have my Great Unclean one off this game, but I started my Demon Prince on. So the four objectives are one right here with some Plague Bears. There is one in the middle right here with this, the paint bottle. One back there and one in the corner right there. So, turn one demons, Tyranids. These guys moved up. I rolled a one for this, so it's that uh, sabotage thing that's gonna explode on me. This soul grinder shot at the possessed, and he made his feel no pain save. This demon prince flew up, used endurance on himself. Talking about up. psychic powers, let's do this. Iron arm and smite. Iron arm and enfeeble. And then this guy got warp speed and smite. And my great and clean one, who's in reserve, has a iron arm, Endurance and the Primaris, and my Demon Prince has two and two, three, five on the table. So these hounds moved up, scouted, but stayed away from the these possessed because they're scarier than they look in combat for sure. Over we have here, experienced possessed combat, not good. So the High Tyrant shot its twin linked uh, Brain Leech Devourer and did one wound to the Sorcerer. And Sid rolled really well to a spawn. He got no twos no or no twos. doubles. I got one group of seven here and another group of eleven there. So these hive, sneaky hive guards shot over this rock and took off two hull points from the Mauler Fiend, and he can't shoot. Chaos and Necron in turn one. This Mauler Fiend ended up assaulting eleven inches into my hounds, and these possessed assaulted in. They got plus one initiative, plus one attacks for their special, and they just wiped out all the, the corn hounds. There was one left but he failed his demonic instability. On the positive side, there was a chaos sorcerer, but he periled and ended up killing himself this because this guy of the put one wound. The warp. These guys shot their bolters at this guy and what happened? And they all missed because he's swooping. Yep. So this is during our turn. As you see, the gaunts the are swarming in. this area. Now that is a swarm, look at that. Demons and Tyranids turn to this soul grinder shot his harvester at thousand suns, killed one guy at the front. These plague bears moved in a weird Z formation. He's kind of guard shot at the possessed. After uh, rolling a corn's wrath, and it hit this Mauler fiend and took out his last hull point. Because okay, the blast went on my turbagon, then scattered onto the Mauler fiend <laughs> and killed him. Yeah, and uh, so this was a giant combat right here. So there are two possessed left here with a bunch of gaunts. They won combat, they killed nine, nine gaunts. Killed five. He killed five. And this Turbogon challenged one and killed a champion. 
Uh, over here, this Turrican flew over, vector struck this Necron. And shot him. Overlord, and then shot him, and he's down. This Demon Prince assaulted these guys and took out the Spiring Sorcerer in the challenge. So Necrons and Chaos turn two. All his flyers came in except for his Doom Scythe. These warriors dropped down here, and with this flyer and another flyer, they ended up taking two hull points off him, even though I had a really good cover save of three up. This flyer shot at the Hive Guard and took them out, so there's no more Hive Guard, but that was after these destroyers also shot at them, and the Helldrake flamed them. Another thing is that this Demon Prince ended up winning combat, and the Thousand Sons here were killed by the Demon Prince. This Hive Tyrant was vector struck by the Helldrake, and it wounds. took two wounds, which is crazy, but the Lord did not stand up. So they did get plus one to their reserves. This flyer deep struck here, that's how it's in such a weird position. And over here, this combat cleaned up. Sid is consolidating because there were two guys left. Turn three demons and Tyranids. Uh, these guys went to get this objective. These guns right here moved and shot the flyer and took out a hull point. Pretty good. But these guys, 22 guys, shot at the back of the hill drake and they did nothing. My Demon Prince also flew over the Helldrake Vector Strike it and did nothing. This Hive Tyrant shot the back of the Helldrake and did nothing. There's this uh, pattern going on. This Soul Grinder shot the Helldrake and did nothing. These Plague Bearers tried to do something Necrons weren't in, but <laughs> died. Oh god. Yes! Uh, this, my Great Unclean One came in. He used Smite and took out one. The, my Sonic Spore came and took out one hull point from his flyer. Sorry for the frog, as there are a bunch of random flyers. These are like, they never run flyers, basically. So all the night flies Doom took out one life, and then he took out two lives from them. So he's at five wounds after losing some. And then Dez rolled back, and there's three more destroyers. And a bunch more stuff back already. Necrons and Chaos, turn four. This Doom Scythe came in, shot its line, hit the Soul Grinder. I made my cover save from Shrouding, and it killed one Plague Bearer because the line went there and then went back and hit one. Uh, these destroyers shot at Doom, and he made his two three up invulnerable saves. Yeah, yeah. These three warriors shot at Soul Grinder and it didn't manage to glance. Doom tried to suck up the life of both these units, but they both passed leadership. These two flyers came over here. This one shot at the Turvgon, took oh, out three, three wounds. wounds. This Heldrake flamed, killed seven gods, seven gods and didn't wound the Turvgon. This Dakajit, which is also a Night Scythe, shot at the gods below and killed five. This flyer shot at the Demon Prince and took out a wound. And that's the end of the turn. Okay, turn four demons and tyranids. Over here, the soul grinder shot, hit the doom scythe, but didn't cause any penetrating hits or glancing. This demon prince flew over a flyer, took off a hall point, and then this high tyrant one. flew over one Did, flyer. Got two, two penetra uh, one glance, one pen, and blew it up, and it flew and exploded there and did nothing. And the then he shot the other one that the demon prince hurt and blew it up. The flew and killed one god. And then, yeah, the explosion killed one god. These gods shot at this flyer. There's only three of them. They missed. Then all these gods shot at the back of the Helldrake, and they only got one six, and then the six missed. Uh, then this Turvgon shot its blast and missed a destroyer, but Doom sucked up two life of the destroyers and then salted them, and he is subject to rage, but he still didn't end up killing this one guy. Made his armor saves. Last turn of the game of Necrons. Over here, this Doomsday Arc came, shot the Demon Prince, got him down to one wound. Then its line killed another Gaunt. The Destroyer finally... Got his brain sucked out again. Yeah, got his died. brain sucked out by the Doom of Malantai. These guys were over here to claim that objective. These guys were over here. The Necrons came in from oncoming reserve, and they assaulted the Gaunts, but tied combat, which is pretty good. But we forgot there were two here. units of gone, so that means they pulled one, but this still got the objective. And then these, the Heldrake flamed, killed four, and then this ship shot. And I passed both my, I went to ground and got both my cover saves. Yep, so they and secured that objective. Passed the leadership objective. on a four. Three. Yeah, he on passed three. the leadership too. And uh, that is it. So it is a chaos and Tyranid victory. 
was a good tournament play out because we actually got every point possible. Yeah. We got every objective, and we got two Slay the Warlords, Line Breaker from the Gods here. Yep, luckily from those. Luckily guys. from this. And then we also got First Blood. First Blood, yeah. Off the Sorcerer. From the Sorcerer killing himself by accident. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe and thumbs up. Rock on!